right guys this guy here allegedly has a bad TXV we're gonna swap that out today to put the filter dryer on the roof which I like because it's less brazing down here but I know it is it does work better down here but oh well so we're gonna swap this bad boy out let's go Our pressures I didn't bring any temp probes up it kind of just looks low on charge to me but I trust the technicians diagnosis that diagnosed this so we're gonna change the TXV so we're gonna go ahead and just try to pump her down right now she did there whether she cut off on low pressure or what bypassing all right guys the problem was I think the condenser was full because we have a pretty long line set here so um, I reset it I released the, the, the charge, I, uh, I dropped the reverse and valve, let everything equalize again, and then started back again, just slightly cracking my liquid with my liquid line closed. I was uh, opened my suction side and slightly cracked my liquid every now and then to, uh, to ease some of it in it. And um, I got it down to about 60, 67 or so. All right guys, I'm gonna do this filter dryer first while I'm up here. So I got the nitro hooked up. I'm just gonna bring this up to braze. And I'm just gonna weep it in through the high side and just let it dump out the low side here. this for now but I might end up cutting those ends off at least this one end because I don't have a whole lot there already hot this morning it's not supposed to be too brutal this week matter of fact I think I seen some upper 70s for the high for a couple days but I think today's probably gonna be like 90 
guys, I'm in the spare, the hoopty. My truck's getting body work done. Um, someone sideswiped me weeks ago, and it's finally getting in the shop. It wasn't even that bad. It was uh, some of the bumper and uh, uh, some of the plastic pieces. It's a transit van, so uh, it's got a lot of plastic around the bottom there. Um, yeah, the guy didn't see me. Uh, old man from New Jersey. Uh, I was uh, West Ocean City going right down route 50 and he went to make a u-turn didn't even see me luckily i seen him and was able to avoid a direct impact but he he still came into the side of me hit me with a prius so <laughs> it it messed his stuff all up but just a little bit of dent <clears throat> little little dent and uh you know messed up the plastic knocked the door magnet off stuff like that so she's going in she'll be in for a few days so maybe a week i don't know but so i'm in the hoopty I say it's a hoopty. It's just, it's older than my truck. So, but all right, guys, we're going to get the TXV. I didn't get it this morning because um, I didn't want to be right in the supply house right at 7 30, 8 o'clock when it's the busiest. So, um, I'm going to get the TXV now um, and then we'll come back and put it on. All right, here's our TXV here. Looks like somebody removed the bulb. So, at least they did probably try to put it. Um, in ice water or something like that they diagnosed it properly so we're gonna get these screws out here which these are a son of a bitch to get back sometimes but we're gonna get it off uh, break this nut free and then we have two brazes braze right there and then our equalization tube right there and we'll get rolling all right well i got the old txv cut out um so i unbolted it there cut it there and I just snipped the tube for now. I'm gonna run up and get my torches and then we'll sweat we'll sweat that out of there. <clears throat> just wanna be quick and get it out for now. So we'll get what we need though. Alright guys, um, I got the new TXV set. I still gotta braze this here and that there. Um, I'm not in my normal truck, so I don't have my heat blocking compound, the Viper wet rag. So I just got it wrapped up with a actual wet rag here. So uh, going old school today. It's all right. It works just as good. So we'll get that brazed up, um, get that brazed up, and then we'll mount the bulb. And we'll be in good shape. Try to get this pulled out a little further. Don't want to burn anything up. All right, I think we got everything brazed. Just gonna check with my mirror, which I'm gonna have to replace because it's cracked. So this one I know is good. The only one I'm wanna look at is this this small tube here, which I think I got it good enough. The problem is trying to get it hot enough because sometimes you can't get that larger pipe hot enough to get the smaller pipe to get the solder to flow. But I think I did, I just wanna get in here and take a look. All right, I think it looks good. Um, before I go any further, I'm gonna pump up the nitro on it, um, let it sit, make sure I don't have anything leaking, and then I'll bolt everything down and tighten everything up. I think I did, yeah, I tightened that down good and tight. So yeah, let's, let's raise the nitro to, uh, leak search level and we'll soap some stuff up well i got nothing hissing so that's good the unit next to us making noise but let's soap this up all right we got her soaped up good and proper looking good soak these little guys up too all right, we're gonna go ahead and bolt the rest of the TXV down. All right, we're back up top now. Pulling a vacuum, got our valve core removers on. We're gonna pull her for a while. I had to jump power off of the main power coming in. I just pulled all my control wiring off so there's no chance of it trying to come on. And we'll let her eat for a while. Well, this is certainly looking a lot better. I haven't added any additional charge. This is just the charge that was in the unit. 
10 degrees of subcooling, 10 degrees of superheat. We're looking for exactly 10 degrees of subcooling. Let it run a little bit and balance out. Yeah, we're looking good. Man, I'd say that looks dead nuts, guys. I literally added nothing. Nothing at all. So I probably took out maybe four or six ounces from what I lost when I pumped it down where it wouldn't pump down all the way. I'd say she's dead on, fellas. There we go, fellas. She's back a humming. A lot of stuff up on this roof too. A lot of units. We take care of all these units. There's another roof up there with more stuff. Rooftop units over there, units over there, over there. We take care of that stuff down there. They got a city multi. Two units there. We don't do those. But yeah. This whole building, while it looks like it's several different buildings, it's all connected. It's got a lot of equipment. <laughs> 